Hey guys, Josh here with Patriot Barbecue, and today I have some uh, chicken livers and some chicken gizzards that I've washed um, thoroughly. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a few chicken livers wrapped in bacon, and then we're going to do a few chicken gizzards wrapped in bacon, and then we're going to do a few not wrapped in anything. Um, we're going to be seasoning them. So I'm going to do the chicken livers with Big Mo Quezon's chicken rub. Um, and then once I've got them wrapped, I'm just gonna sprinkle very lightly. And I'm going light seasoning on, on uh, no matter what. Just, it's gonna be very light seasoning. This is not like a brisket or a rib that you just you know really lay on the dry rub heavily. This is just to give it a little added flavor. Um, so, very light dusting of competition rib rub going on the, on the bacon once everything is wrapped and a very light dusting of the chicken livers um, with this uh, Mo on chicken rub. So what I want to do first is I'm going to take some of these livers here, here, there. One more. So those are the chicken livers. We'll do that. And then we'll do a couple of these gizzards. Just like this. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the slightest little bit of Big Mo Quezon's chicken rub. And I'm just going to give these a light dusting, just a slight dusting here, just for a little bit of flavor on these livers. I love chicken livers, um, but I usually have them uh, deep fried and the uh, chicken gizzards deep fried. Uh, but the other day I bought a um, whole chicken from the store to smoke and it came with the livers and the heart and the neck and so i thought you know let me just throw it on the smoker with the whole chicken and see how it comes out and it came out delicious so i really enjoyed it and um we're going to experiment today with some um some of the same but we're going to wrap it in bacon because bacon makes everything better so What we'll do is, we'll go ahead and put some of these gizzards out here. Okay, and also, we'll get these livers. Now this is gonna be interesting because the texture of this is really just kind of flimsy and mushy. So it's gonna be interesting to say the least to get them wrapped in the bacon, but we're gonna give it our, our best effort. We're gonna give it a good old American try. So let me get rid of this. Okay, so we did one here, and I put two pieces of bacon on it. This is one of the small ones, so that's what's gonna come out looking like, hopefully. So let's try one of these bigger ones. The, the deal is that they're really kind of a odd-shaped organ um, to try to wrap. So I'm just going to do my best here, and then what we're going to do is we'll, we'll wrap it the opposite direction with another piece. And I've just been kind of stretching the bacon out a little bit, just to kind of get it to go a little farther. And go ahead and do that, and then just, just like that, okay? So there's that, and then I'll do a, a gizzard or two and then we'll check back when they're all done. So there's a gizzard. For those of you that don't know, the gizzard is the part of the chicken um, where the chicken basically stores, or essentially, if I'm not mistaken here, um, takes the food into the gizzard and then it swallows like rocks and gravel and that's where it kind of digests all of its food. Um, it's kind of funky, but man, I love 
they just taste good. I just, I enjoy them. So again, I'm just, I'm wrapping in one direction and then I'm taking a second piece and I'm wrapping the other direction. Just kind of like that. And remember, this bacon, you might have to stretch it a little bit. And that's pretty much it right there. So we'll check back with you in a little bit. All right, guys, so we've got the bacon wrapped chicken gizzards. We've got the bacon wrapped chicken livers. Um, this was really just a, a sign of patriotism. That's really all that was. Um, and then this here is unwrapped livers and gizzards. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the slightest little bit of competition rib rub just for the pork. And I'm just, it's almost just like, I mean, that was probably a little bit more than I wanted to, but it's not the end of the world. This is just, this is barbecue, guys. This We're smoking here. We're smoking ribs. Um, I mean, we're smoking chicken livers and gizzards. I smoked ribs yesterday. Just a little hint of color. Never hurt anyone at all. And that's it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take these out to the smoker. And um, we're going to get them fired up. I, oh, before we do that, I bought a special rack to do this. And it's supposed to arrive today. But I was just a little too antsy in my pantsy to wait for it. Uh, it's supposed to be here. But all the delivery says is by 9. Um, once that product gets here, we'll try this again. Especially if these turn out really good and they're, they're, they're killer. We'll try them again on the rack that I bought for them. But because that rack hasn't got here yet, we're going to try it on this and see how it goes. Um, so let's go out there and get them on the smoker. Oh, the smoker smells good. Looking good. So right now we're, we're, we're running a little higher and this, this white smoke I'm not really a big fan of. Um, I just got my smoker going. So typically, let me just do a side note here. Typically when you're barbecuing, when you're smoking, you want your smoke to be clear and like with a bluish tint to it. This is white smoke. Um, it, it's not gonna last, it's not gonna be this way for the duration of the smoke. It will it will get to, and I'll, once it, uh, once my smoker and, and my firebox even out and get to where I want it to be, um, I will come out and show you what the targeted smoke is that I'm looking for. But to get this going, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw them on there. I personally don't think it's going to ruin this uh, this product or this chicken, uh, these chicken livers and gizzards. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and roll with it. But just wanted to throw that out there. Ideally, you are looking for a clear smoke with a blue, to a very, like a bluish, almost twinge to it. Uh, so right now we're running at uh, 200 and you want to come on in so you can see the temp right now we're running at 275 degrees so that's a little higher than I want it to be but again it's it, there's this is a smoker this is a wood fire smoker I cannot just go here and oh it's too high let me turn it down with a knob it doesn't work that way with the smoker so what we're gonna do is we're gonna close our vents down we're gonna try to bring that temperature down a little bit that's the that's the beauty and the fun part of of this type of a smoker. There's no knob that I can just go turn and um, and achieve the temperature that I want. So that's the fun part, and that's also kind of the tricky part of, of smoking this way. So let's get them on the smoker and let's see how they turn out. I mean, you can't go wrong with bacon. This is American. A little smoky in there. Okay. One thing I do want to point out before we close this lid, you want to come over here and take a look at this. So we do have a water bowl in here. What this is going to do, and I'm going to move it over just a little bit. What that's going to do is that's going to help keep the air in the smoker moist and uh, kind of. I use it to 
like for example, when the temperature is a little higher than I want it to be, I'll move that water bowl in front of the opening that the smoking heat comes into the meat chamber. And that what that'll do is it'll just kind of block a little bit of the heat so that it'll, you know, little tricks like that that I've learned that help. If I see that the temperature spiked up on me a little bit, um, definitely want to shut the vent down and definitely maybe move that water bowl. Make sure you have a water bowl. Um, and these are just little things that I've learned along the way. But um, so right now, as you can see, um, from opening that ch that meat chamber, right now we're sitting now at 240 and 245. And it's, I mean, if it was rapidly rising, we would know like that's not really the, ch the temperature of the chamber. But I mean, we're sitting now, look, look at how, look at where we're sitting now. It's at 250, okay? It's at 250. And I would suspect it will probably rise to 260, 265, and it'll probably sit right in there. Um, because look at how slow, I mean, that's about the temperature of the chamber. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. But, you know, um, let's, see, let's see how these things go, and we'll check back with you in a little bit. All right, so here's the type of smoke that you're really looking for. I mean, you, you cannot even barely see it. It's, and it's, it's got this like bluish tinge to it. And that's really, I know it's kind of counterintuitive. Like you get, you get a new smoker and you're, you know, you want to fill it up with smoke and just, man, look at all the smoke coming out of that thing. But that's what they call dirty smoke. And so it's, I'm the same way. Like I prefer to see a ton of smoke come out of it, but that's not what you want. That's not what you want for your food to taste good. So this is really what you're looking for. And I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. Enjoy guys. So we've been going now for just shy of two hours. Um, started at three o'clock and uh, it is now 4.50. So I wanted to just come out here and take a little peek. Um, we are running at 200 and maybe 61, 62 degrees. Um, I have my vent just barely cracked, okay? Um, just to get a little airflow and well, let's see what we got going on. Okay. So these are the gizzards back here and these are the livers and these are the gizzards and the livers unwrapped it smells amazing and what I actually noticed is that's a good gauge on on how the bacon's looking but man these things are just when they smell great they smell wonderful but one thing that I'm noticing is that this little pool of juices back here, that's why I wanted those um, that grate that I ordered. And it's still not here yet. It's, it's 5 o'clock in the evening almost. And again, it just says that it's going to be here by, by 9. So um, we're, we're rolling along here. They're, they're not done yet. I'm going to keep them going. This side, without that grate, it's going to be... And I remember... When I smoked that whole chicken, I just set the liver down literally right onto the grate. And that's kind of how they were, but I took them long enough to where they were somewhat solid and I was able to pull them off. Um, so I'm gonna have to you know, get better at this and continue trying different methods and see what we can do. Um, these gizzards, they're so solid that, I mean, they're not gonna be a problem right but those livers they're almost it's uh, you'll have to wait and see um they're they'll just they're just man they're good they're delicious but they're a little more tricky to deal with i'll tell you what so we're gonna keep this going um we're not there yet uh i'm actually probably going to take some kind of maybe a paper towel and just dab up some of those juices just a little bit 
and um, I am tempted to just grab that piece of bacon and just take a nibble off it. I tell you what, but I'm gonna behave myself here, and um, I'm gonna wait. And um, yeah, we'll check back in, in a little while. Um, what I'm oh, what I'm thinking of doing? Maybe not today. Maybe maybe next time I try this once I have the um, the grates that I ordered for this particular um, recipe, if you will. But what I was thinking was getting some Hawaiian rolls and making like a bacon wrapped chicken liver slider. And I thought, man, that would be good. But for today, what I'm probably gonna do, and I think, I just keep zooming on. This one here's got my name on it. Um, that one there's got my name on it. Uh, just saying. So I'm gonna probably throw that on a on a hamburger bun, a small hamburger bun, and go to town. See see where we're at. See how we're how we're doing in this thing. But um, and you know these now these chicken now I gotta close this lid here soon. But these these gizzards, I'm t I don't know if you've ever had gizzards before, but they are extremely chewy. Okay, they're very chewy. The 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 texture is like a. It's hard to explain. They're very rubbery, and so they're going to be an interesting. They're, they're going to be interesting. Um, I just kind of last minute decided to throw some gizzards into here to see how they turned out. We're experimenting here. Um, this isn't about perfection. This is about learning and just kind of discovery, really. So let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and close this down. Yeah, baby, that bad boy's got my my name written all over it. See it right there on the side there, Joshua. Yep. Um, anyways, we'll shut this bad boy down and let's just let this keep on going. I'm gonna kick this fire up just a little bit. Check on my smoke. Check on the firebox, and um, yeah, we'll check back in. Uh, like I said, we've been going for two hours, so I'm gonna let it run. I'm just gonna let it keep going. We'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. So this is what I've got going on here um, in my firebox right now, and so what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open this bad boy up. Oh, that's a little hot. And this is my handy dandy wood chip here. And you're gonna see real soon here that you're gonna start seeing some flame pop up in there. Cause that air is coming through and just breathing into that, uh, giving that fire something to breathe off of. And you'll see it fire right up real quick. Um, I'm gonna spare you the walk to get the wood, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back in just a second here. So we've had the lid open and uh, our fire is definitely warming up and getting going, which is what we want. Um, it's not quite where I want it yet. I'm going to let it keep going, but I wanted to mention what we can do with these smoked chicken livers. They're going to have, with that little bit of um, chicken rub on them, they're going to have a great flavor with that, with that uh, mesquite smoke and uh, they're just going to be delicious. So what, what can we do with them? We can make hors d'oeuvres. Uh, say where you just serve them plain, just the way they are. Maybe stick a uh, toothpick into them and uh, enjoy them like that. Maybe, maybe while you're watching football on Sunday or just relaxing. Um, another thing we can do, uh, as I mentioned before, we can make uh, chicken liver wrapped in bacon smoked sliders. Okay, where we throw them on. I keep thinking about the Hawaiian, the Hawaiian sweet rolls. And I just think, you know what, that's going to taste phenomenal. If I can get it right, if you can nail it, it's going to taste really good. It's going to it's gonna blow people's minds. And they go, whoa, where did, how did you come up with this one? Um, another thing I was thinking about, you can make a pate, okay? You can do a, a chicken, a smoked chicken liver pate. Another thing that I was thinking about was taking some cream cheese, okay, and smoking the chicken livers. Maybe not necessarily wrapped in bacon, but you can smoke them to put that smoke flavor on them with that, uh, with that rub that I was talking about and uh, that chicken rub. Get them nice and flavored up even before that. You can even marinate the chicken livers overnight, okay? You can throw them in some Italian dressing. Let them soak in Italian dressing for 12 hours, okay? Put some flavor on them. Throw them on the smoker. Smoke them up. And then... You can take some cream cheese and some chives, mix that chicken liver up into that cream cheese with some chives and make you a dip. I mean, there's just, and, and people are gonna go, whoa, 
this is at the very least creative and if it's good delicious so just some side notes and some thoughts that I had while I was sitting here smoking um, these chicken livers uh, enjoying this wonderful afternoon so uh, this firebox is starting to look right about where I want it so I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down and um, we're gonna keep on smoking have a good one all right so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna we're gonna take a look um, I've got my helpers here with me today my beautiful daughter Layla filming and my wonderful beautiful intelligent wise smart lovely helpful uh, second child also my sec favorite second child I should say and um, she's gonna help me out so what we've got going on here is we've got our chicken our chicken livers and chicken gizzards here we've got our chicken livers wrapped in bacon here we've got our chicken gizzards wrapped in bacon here and a little patriotism on the side okay because that's how we roll so what we're gonna do Emily I'm gonna need you to give me a little bit of that chicken rub which was this one okay and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to the non wrapped side and I'm going to just I'm just gonna hit it with the slightest bit just to kind of just to kind of I mean I hate to say it but Emerald Lagasse just kick it up a notch and I mean it's it's almost like you know Emerald Lagasse's signature move was something like this BAM that's basically what we're doing here and that's all there is to it and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of this Mokeson competition rib rub for the pork side and all this little bits of pork here and patriotism that we have we're just gonna we're just gonna slap a little bit on there just just for the fun of it you know that's pretty much it we're gonna let that ride we're looking good actually looking really good and um, yeah this was just a little maintenance season uh, a little pow if you will just to kind of keep the flavors up we have been going now for two hours and 15 minutes um, and we're not done yet but we'll check back in with you in a little bit okay so what I want to do is I want to check on some stuff here and um, just make sure that everything is good to go so one thing I want to mention is that I noticed on the last time that uh, I opened the lid that my water bowl was empty. So I went ahead and put some water in there. And then what I'm noticing here is that these guys here in the back, I'm loving the color that I'm seeing. They're getting a little dark. So what I want to do, and then, and then if you look in contrast over here, although the liver's fairly dark here, the bacon over here is kind of, it can use a little more love. So I'm just going to come in here and we're just gonna switch places, okay? And what I'll actually do, this is just on the fly. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that piece of bacon and that piece of bacon there, just to keep it from getting too much color or too much what have you. So just a quick little uh, switcheroni, switcherooski. That's it, that's it. We're just gonna keep on going. The lighting is not kind of real, real good because uh, the sun is kind of setting that way now. But this is where we are so far. And we've been kind of testing. And this is just the bacon that was set on the side. Mm. That has such good flavor. It's incredible. So we just tried a little bit of that bacon and it is phenomenal. Just just a piece of smoked bacon, just left it in there. It is delicious. It was also with that um uh, well here. Let's try a little piece of this uh chicken liver. delicious it's delicious again the chicken gizzard is if you've never tried it before it's got a it's got a texture that's kind of rubbery 
but if you can kind of get it and acquire the taste to to like it it is so good it is delicious so right now we have been going it is now four minutes to six these have been on the smoker since 3 p.m. so they've been going for three hours and the livers are done um, the gizzards are done at this point and this is where you can kind of just become creative um, it's really up to you as to how you like the bacon to to crisp up you like your bacon crispy if you do like your bacon crispy what you can do is open up your firebox and crank the temperature up on your smoker and just just high heat it for say two minutes three minutes and just crisp up that bacon but I think for the purposes of this video we're gonna shut this smoker down we're just going for one more little nibble on my bacon I mean, it's just it's so good so delicious um, wow that was good so we're just going to shut this thing down we're going to let it go we're going to look at it again at 6.30 most likely I'm thinking we're going to pull it off the smoker at 6.30 and um, we're going to make a little slider and um, do a little taste test and but you know we're pretty much wrapping it up here uh, so far based off of what I've tasted um, it's just delicious I mean it's so good and uh, it's it's easy the I got over a pound of chicken gizzards for three dollars and equally maybe about a half pound of chicken livers for a dollar forty nine, and then the bacon um, I got for again like two eighty. So we're talking less than ten dollars of of goodies. Um, and when you account for the charcoal and the wood, I mean you just can't you just can't go wrong. But that bacon was so good. And again, there's so many things you can do. You can make a smoked chicken liver pate. You can take that smoked chicken liver, break it down and mix it into some cream cheese with some chives and make you a, a homemade dip. Um, look at Bella. <laughs> look at Bella. <laughs> Don't mind her, that's our cat. Um, anyways, we're having a good time. It's tasting great. I'm gonna give it another 30 minutes and we'll pull it off and um, we'll give it a taste test. All right, so after taste testing um, the gizzards, I really loved them and enjoyed them, but it got my creative juices flowing a little bit, and I thought, what if we threw a little bit of barbecue sauce down on them, just like I do ribs, and just see what happens. Again, we're experimenting here. We're enjoying our Saturday evening. We're loving life. So let's give it a shot. What I have here is some stubs sticky sweet okay what we're gonna do see now they're looking they're looking real voluptuous you know what i'm saying um so what i have here here's what we'll do i have one two three four gizzards just by themselves and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna slap down some barbecue sauce on them okay just a little bit like that just kind of paint it on there as if just paint it on there like you just don't care kind of a thing just like that and oh that's a piece of bacon that piece there's a piece of bacon and this guy's being a little un unreasonable if you ask me but we're gonna work with them we're gonna work with them we like a challenge and then what we're gonna do is this is that piece of bacon and it got a little bit of sticky uh, sticky sweet um, stub barbecue love on it. I mean, it just, it's so good. 
I'm not gonna lie to you. And what I want to do is I'm gonna do because we have I'm not gonna put any on the livers. Well, here's what I'll do. Forget it. I'll do half. I'll do half with a little bit of um, barbecue sauce. And for those of you that remember, this one has my name on it. We're just, we're not gonna do a lot. We're just gonna do a little tiny bit, just like that. Okay, that's one liver, that's one liver. We're gonna do one gizzard. That one can use a little bit more, just like that. And then we're gonna do one more. And we're gonna roll the dice. We're just gonna roll the dice. We're gonna put it on the big one. Okay, this is, I mean, if you don't play, you don't win. So, just like that. Okay, so we have one liver wrapped in bacon, uh, one gizzard wrapped in bacon, one another liver wrapped in bacon, and another gizzard wrapped in bacon. And then the plain gizzards, I went ahead and threw some sauce on them as well. Um, we're gonna just, I mean, we're coming down to the, to the end of the smoke here. I'm gonna let that tack up. I'm gonna give it 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and um, we're gonna go ahead and pull it off. So, let's not say it too loud what we're smoking here, because I don't want the chickens to not lay eggs or freak out or get upset. But these are liver and gizzards from a chicken. So let's just let that run and see what happens. So we're done. It is now 6.45 and we started this smoke at three. So it is it has gone for three hours and 45 minutes. Um, and this is our finished product. Um, we've got our chicken livers. We've got some, some gizzards here. They kind of disappeared over time. I think the smoke may have disintegrated them. I'm not really sure, but they just kind of went. And then we've got bacon wrapped gizzards and bacon wrapped livers. And we're, we're done. We're gonna go inside and um, we're gonna go ahead and dial them in. Okay guys, so this is the final, the final bit, if you will. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of liver just by itself here. This is just smoked liver with a little bit of uh, seasoning on it. I'm gonna taste that. Here. It's delicious. That is delicious. And that little bit of dry rub comes through and it's great. So again, I wanted to try this on a Hawaiian sweet roll, but this bad boy right here has had my name on it the entire smoke for some reason. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. That's like, that's like something I've never tried before. It is so rich and delicious. The smoke flavor, the liver, the seasoning, the bacon, it is, it's so good. You guys gotta try it. And um, we've had a great smoke today, again, chicken livers and chicken gizzards, uh, some wrapped in bacon, some not. Um, it's just been a fun day. Thanks for, thanks for joining. Oh, and since we're on the subject of poultry, these here are my homemade smoke, uh, these are not smoked, these are pickled eggs, okay? Um, these are not smoked. But what I'm going to do in a future video 
is go ahead and smoke some eggs before I uh, boil the hard boiled eggs or soft boiled or however you like them. We're gonna go ahead and smoke them and then pickle them. So that's gonna be in a later video. Thanks for joining us. We're gonna go ahead and enjoy. Have a good night. All right guys, so I wanna be make sure I'm being transparent with the viewers. I wanna make sure you guys know what I'm thinking. Um, I really enjoyed cooking this and I, I love it. It's delicious, but I wanted to make something apparent to you guys. So come in, let's take a look. So if you look at this one here, you see how big it is. I mean, it's got like this piece, this piece, this piece. You can almost cut that into four. And I just tried a, a liver wrapped in bacon. The piece of liver that I wrapped the bacon in was fairly small to start with. And one piece of bacon cut in half, wrapped all the way around it, completely enveloped the piece of liver. And that was the best piece bar none. Um, these ones that have a lot of liver hanging off the sides, if you really like liver like I do, you're going to enjoy it. But if you're somebody who's not a, the biggest fan or I don't like liver, I don't like chicken livers, you're going to taste a lot of chicken liver in that. So my suggestion after this video, and I'm going to do more of these because I really enjoy this, is make your liver sections before you cook them smaller and wrap them fully in bacon and season them, flavor them, do all that good stuff that you like. And you're, I think your guests and yourself, you're gonna enjoy it more. Um, the, the gizzards, again, they're chewy. Um, if you like them like I do, you're gonna enjoy them. But it's, it takes a little getting used to as far as the texture for a lot of people, I don't think they really quite realize. I don't think a lot of people have ever tried chicken gizzards. So again, this was an experiment. It came out very well. Um, and the, the one take back that I would do is instead of wrapping these massive hunks of, of chicken liver, if I was you know serving to guests at a football game or something we were doing at the house, I think what I would do is I would make the pieces of liver smaller and wrap them completely in bacon. So you're almost looking at this little lovely bacon burrito and on the inside of it, there's a smaller piece of chicken liver that's seasoned and takes that smoke on and it's just this velvety, minerally delicious deliciousness. But um, I just wanted to mention that to you guys. I would, I would not go with, unless you're in company that just loves chicken livers, then you're gonna enjoy it. But these ones here that have a lot, like one small piece of, of bacon wrapping a massive chicken liver may be a little, a little too chicken livery. So again, if you like chicken livers, double, two thumbs up. But I think for me in the future, if I'm going to be serving guests, what I would do is take a smaller piece of chicken liver and wrap it in bacon so that the bacon fully envelops the piece of chicken liver. So almost, you can't even see. So all you're looking at is little wrapped pieces of smoked bacon. And on the inside, there's pieces of chicken liver in it. And I think that will blow your guests away. So I just wanted to uh, do a quick little recap on that. Um, two thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, Patriot Barbecue. We love barbecue and we love smoking. And um, come see us again on the next video. Also, if you have not hit the like button, the subscribe button, please do so. It's gonna help us a lot. Have a good one.